Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. As you've probably already noticed, today's video is all about the ESP LTD SCT607B baritone seven string guitar. It's the signature model for the guitarist of Deftones, Stefan Carpenter. It's not really a secret that I'm a Deftones fan. I think they're a great band and their guitarist Stefan Carpenter has been a huge influence for me as a guitar player. I think his style is just awesome and his guitars are killer. Just gonna talk to you about this guitar a little bit and then we're gonna close the video with some more riffage. So stay tuned for that. I don't think they make this exact model anymore, but the one that they're selling right now is basically the same, but it has the green sparkle finish. It has the Stefan Carpenter signature Fishman Fluence pickups. And I also think that the fretboard is made out of a different type of ebony. But as you can see, I have the older model here, which I think I would prefer because I love EMG pickups. And if I'm honest, I'm not really a huge fan of those Fishman pickups. I used to have a Schecter with the Fishman Modern pickups in it, and it just wasn't my thing, to be honest. The Fishmans definitely didn't sound bad, but they were a bit too uh, sort of artificial, plasticky, and modern for my taste. I think the EMGs are still great because they have a lot of chunk to them, they have a lot of hugeness and they do sound a little bit more organic, dare I say, than the Fishmans. But that's just my personal opinion, so don't hold that against me, okay? But yeah, I still love EMG pickups a lot and I actually think that they're a bit underrated these days. People are really hyping the Fishman pickups, but yeah, EMGs are still very solid. And they have been used on countless records for decades, so I think that also says a lot. So at the beginning of this video you got to hear me play this guitar and I started off with some riffs on the bridge position. Then we did some clean tones with the pickup selector on the neck position, but it's not really a neck pickup as you can see, it's more of a middle pickup. And then I played some lead parts again with the pickup selector on the bridge position, which is how I mostly like to set this guitar. I think the bridge position just sounds a bit better than the middle position over here. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I've also lowered the middle pickup a little bit to make room for my guitar pick when I'm playing. It still sounds good though. So let's talk a little bit about the guitar itself. Obviously it's based on a Telecaster, which is a very classic design, but this is a very modern take on that classic model. And let me tell you right away, this does not sound like a Telecaster at all. The body is made out of alder and it is a neck through body and the neck is made out of maple. It's a three-piece maple neck, if I'm correct. And as you can see here, it's a very solid guitar. I really love neck-through models because of their feel, sound, and looks. It really helps with the sustain as well. And as you can see here, the strings are going through the body and onto the bridge here. That also helps with the sustain. So this guitar is all about delivering solid tones and just being a very stable guitar in general. And then we have a Tunomatic bridge over here and the two EMG pickups, of course. These are the EMG 817 models. We have a tone control, a volume control, a three-way position switch. The first position is just the bridge pickup on its own. The second position is these two pickups combined. And the third position is just this single middle pickup. We have a nice pearly pick guard over here. And the binding, I'm not sure if you can see this, but the binding is also very nice and pearly which is kind of cool and kind of classy. One thing to note about this guitar is that the body is very big and kind of clumsy in a way, kind of clunky like a classic Telecaster, but this one is even bigger and heavier. I think it's bigger because of the fact that it's a seven string guitar, so the body is probably a little bit wider than a regular Telecaster. So it feels good to play. I mean, I like it and I like sort of really solid guitars like a big Les Paul and stuff but you might not like it for that reason if you're into really sleek super strats or something like that. There are some subtle changes to a regular Telecaster model, of course. One of them being the cutout here, the belly cut, and of course the way that the neck goes into the body. I do really like how it sits when I'm playing it though. Let's move on to the neck. So this is a baritone guitar. That means that the scale length of this guitar is longer than a normal guitar. So the scale length of this one is 27 inches long. That means that it's basically much better at handling very low tunings than a normal guitar. Fretboard is made out of ebony and I really like how it looks. It looks very dark and black. Very cool. I think the newer model, the green one, has Macassar ebony. Uh, it also looks very nice. I have that on my green SC20 over here. 
but it's a bit more brown looking. It looks very cool, very natural, but I also like the, the sort of really dark blackness of this ebony here. The neck is very comfortable to play. It's not super thin, but it's pretty flat. It's a bit flatter than my SC607B that I have over here, actually. So it's quite comfortable. Uh, one of the drawbacks of this guitar probably is the fact that it's very hard to reach the upper frets here because of the way that this cutout is uh, sort of uh, made. It's just because of the way that this guitar is built. There is no sort of um, cutaway here to make room for your hand. And the frets are just really high into the body here. So they can be hard to reach. Not really a problem for me, but it might be a problem for you if you're really into leads and high notes and stuff. I have it set up very nicely, so the string action is nice and low. Great for riffs, great for leads, it just plays very smoothly, so that's very nice as well. Then let's go over to the headstock. We have seven locking tuners over here and a nice pearly LTD logo with the Stefan Carpenter signature. As you can see, I have some tape on the strings past the nut here and also over here. And a lot of you have asked me why I do that. Well, the reason is very simple. If you're playing very tight and chunky metal, sometimes in between the, the chunky notes, you'll hear the strings ring over here. It's a sympathetic ring, basically, a resonance. So by muting the strings over here and over here, I just make sure that the guitar sounds very tight without any unwanted noise. And the tuning for this guitar is B flat standard, or drop A flat, which is how I like to uh, tune this guitar mostly. And I'm using Elixir strings, which I really like. And the gauges are very simple. It's just a set of tens with a 68 as the low string. All right, guys, let's carry on with some more riffs. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to hit subscribe along with the notification bell. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram. Now, please enjoy some more riffage with this wonderful guitar. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.